Hi, welcome to Useful Tricks. Today we are going to do uh, a Lottie increment loader. So to begin, we have to build a new, uh, we have to start being with new composition. Then we are going to name it like loader. We have a uh, one, uh, 160 pixels from width, uh, 160 from height. And remember the duration like two seconds. Then we are going to choose like a shape. So you can you can change shapes with the letter Q. We are choosing um, an oval. Then here, if you go to fill, uh, be be sure that none is checked. And in the stroke. We are going. We are using 12 pixel stroke. So to build it, we press Shift and we start to place it. You press B and you're going to return to the cursor. So this is the way that we can expand it and like fit it into the screen. So we have in the left side these alignment um, tools where we can just fit correctly. To continue, we are going to add to this shape a trim path. You go to trim paths, then you do click, and then we open the trim paths and, and, and click here in the clock near to end. Here we are saying that we want this to start in zero. And for example we can see over here the number of frames that we want to handle for example 47 we want this in like a hundred so we drag here until a hundred and resize the the duration of the of the animation to that point so we type a hundred there we have our loader working so for the for the increment numbers we are going to add a text layer so uh, we we can type whatever number we want and just align this in the center and um, then we are going to Mm. add an, an, an effect to this so we go right click for, uh, in the layer and uh, effect and then expression controls and then slider controls then we are going we are going to open this this slider window we open this text and we open these effects so we can see the slider control and the open slider control. Then we are going to press Alt, and then we are going to click here in the in the in the clock, and we are going to open an expression. You can see here text source text, and we have to drag this uh, this image to the ex to the slider. Mm -hmm. Then we are going to uh, then we are going to create a function. We have fx slider control then a slider then we're going to type this value to fix we want we want because we want this to fix like zero or maybe we can put two and this is going to be like a decimal point and we are we won't have we want to add like a percentage symbol there we have and it's going to change. So the way we can control uh, the numbers is creating keyframes. So we go here up, and then we are going to click on the the clock. And if you see here, um, we can just play the number we want. So oh, sorry. So we want this starting to zero, and then we go to the a hundred frame and we want to put here like a hundred 
so that we see is increasing and decreasing. So the way we can just yes, uh, fix the position is like, uh, for example, here we want to fit this in the center, and then we go to the nine, uh, and we want this, and we play, we press here in the keyframe, and then we go to ten, and center it again, and and at um, a keyframe, then go to ninety nine. That is the other number that is not going to move. Yes, it's center. And finally, we go to 100. So if we do play. I'm sorry, this just happened here. OK. Now it's working. So we're going to have troubles exporting this in a Lottie file. So to, to do it very quick, uh, to, to do it real quick, we, we want to add like a new text layer where we're going, we, we have to add these uh, numbers. So we type one, two, three, Four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Sorry, just wait again. And zero, and we have to drag this out of the le out of the view, so the body body moving can create those numbers, those function numbers into the animation. So we go to the body moving view, we select the loader, and then we load this. In this case, we are using data JSON, and we have to render it. Now we have the data JSON uh, I imported already here. Now you can see. I changed the name to loader increment determinate JSON. And you can handle it like by segments. So for example, we can just put 90 here. At 91, if we want the stop in 90. And then we, and it's going to stop in 90. So this is the way that we can create like dynamic increasing numbers in loading files. Thank you.